My chicken strips are hard as fuck. Hot as fuck. God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus. Here we go again, man. Here we go. Ah, oh, fuck. Dave is dirty mind. <sighs> mm hmm. Well, I'm just so happy you got your cheeky nuggies, man. Young David here, uh, co-host of Not Good Enough Podcast, and just uh, do a little quick disclaimer. Um, on our search to make the audio uh, slightly above shitty, um, we've been trying to out new different gears and stuff. Apparently Andy, being the cheapo that he is, has uh, fucked up his mic by, and uh, his mic is apparently too close to how he hears me. Some, you know, whatever the fuck, mumbo jumbo electronic shit. Uh, d disclaimer, it's not good enough. Some, you're gonna hear me in his microphone. It's, it's not gonna, it's gonna get annoying sometimes. We apologize. Next time we're gonna fix it and he's actually gonna buy some stuff. So that's gonna be interesting. But, uh, yeah, man, that was David. Um, <laughs> thank you for listening. We appreciate it. And, uh, here's the show. Hello and welcome to the Not Good Enough podcast hosted by David and Andy reporting live on April 427th. I'm Andy. And I'm David. This is episode 7, Groundhog Day. So when this is... It, oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no, no, I keep you're, it. You're, no, having, no, you're no, having no. a hard time. In this episode, we'll be talking about how everyone is doing with this extended weekend we are all having. So, dude, David. Extended weekend? Dude, this shit is not fun, bro. At least the extended weekends are fun. You know, you get to stay home, do whatever. But now we're forced to stay home, and that's that's where I got the problem. Yeah, so all these people that are like, you know what? I wish my weekend would never end. You like, got your wish. On. Yeah. Here you go. You know, your wish is granted. Good luck. Yeah, Thanks. And you, and you still go outside and fucking do shit. Yeah, and now you're begging to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> never thought you'd hear that, huh? Huh, Nancy? No. Now, l listen, man. Like, I... I have never been torn so much on um, wanting uh, to or not to be at work, you know, because like the, the 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 thing about the money, you know, because I'm like, oh, God, I really want that money, but I don't want to be at work because I don't want to potentially expose myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, work is like the only place where I'm social. But I swear, like, dude, even, like, if it wasn't up to money, I would not go. Fuck that. Fuck them people. Even though they're my friends. Fuck them. You know how hard it is to spoken sell like, drugs? Spoken like a true friend, my friend. 100%, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, let, let's get this thing started. Um, so, any show updates? Uh, let's, let's talk about the analytics, because you love that so much. Woo. Yeah, let's go. Let's look it up. So let's see. So we have six episodes. This is episode seven. Woohoo! Woo seven point um, five, actually. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Seven point five. We have to um, this, this is. Um, so we're now in three locations, uh, three countries. So the United States, France, and Ireland. So that's fun. Uh, we're mostly on Spotify, followed by Anchor and Apple Podcasts and others. So that's great. Uh, our estimated audience size is four. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I really, we really appreciate it. We joke, but you know, fucking four is better than none. Yeah, we appreciate y'all. Yeah, it's better than negative four. Yeah, which you honestly, know, I'd rather. You know, my look. <laughs> that's exactly what my number would be at right now. I would just be concerned if we had zero because I know David, you listen, and I I did, mm. <laughs> you know. I, I, I have a listen in, the, in a couple episodes. <laughs> That's why we went from five to four, you jerk. Well, it's because like, dude, like I spent two hours trying to edit it and all that. I'm tired of fucking hearing your voice, Andy. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired of this shit sometimes. <laughs> I hear the uh, same joke and like I laugh and like after six times of re-hearing the same joke, I'm like, all right, bro, this shit's not funny. Then you're just then you're just mouthing the joke. Yeah, beautiful. 
In my head, I'm just like, yeah, and this is where Andy cackles and he fucking spits all over. Like, <laughs> exactly. So let's uh, let's talk about uh, uh, some new gear. Uh, we're talking about um, uh, some new gear that we got um, virtually. We are trying a new online service. Um, we are trying uh, something called uh, Zencaster. So, because this is our second time recording this episode, uh, Skype gave us some bad lag uh, the other day. So, uh, this time we're trying this website service called Zencaster. It is Z-E-N-C-A-S-T-R dot com. So, they um, are right now, they are letting users have unlimited guests and recording time during the coronavirus outbreak, which is very nice. Um, so we thought, why the hell not? It's free, right? Uh, they offer different service plans, but it can be basically free, and that is what we are doing. Uh, this service records each voice locally on a separate track. Uh, they offer a soundboard for live editing, uh, automatic post-production, built-in VOIP, and cloud drive integration. So we'll let you know next episode if we're still using it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll see how this so we're, goes. <laughs> yeah, so far so good. You know, I'm kind of liking it. I like the UI. Um, so far, we're eight and a half minutes in recording. We'll see how it goes. Um, let's see. We got something else. We potentially have a new segment coming. Uh, my buddy John, John. he loves Ooh. movies. Yeah. You've met uh no, I don't think you have met him. No, but uh, no, I you, know somebody you with his would name, so. Okay. Hey, all those Johns. Woo. Hey. Uh, hey Johnny. So you would have met him if he would have um if he was at my engagement party, but he never uh came by. Cuz he's not a real friend, um, Andy. Uh well, I wouldn't say that. He's just busy. <laughs> um <clears throat> Anyway, so this guy loves movies, right? Um, so he's going to be doing his own podcast, and it's going to be a video podcast, and it's um, it's movie reviews, you know. And I think it's he's going to call it like uh, reviews from the couch or something like that. And so he wants to kind of join forces with us, and uh, he wants to do like a little uh, movie of the week, uh, pick of the week, you know, you know, for John, um, and uh, he. He's going to get into real detail about, like, uh, the director and the actor. And, uh, like, this actress was having projectile vomit during the scene, you know. And, you know, she had she was food poisoning, whatever. Like, he knows all this stuff. And he's very good with sim cinematography. You know, he loves all this stuff. Cinematography. Exactly. So those are our updates coming up. Um, so what's new with us, David? What's What's new with you, man? Uh, dude, you got a I, new setup, right? Yeah, I have a new setup. I don't have really new gear. I just kind of move stuff around. I uh, I had my my recording, quote unquote, was at my living room table. Mm -hmm. and my dining room table it was on my dining room table, and it was just full of wires and just it was. I had it attached to my piano, which was on a lawn chair, and it was a mess. So I decided to move some stuff around. Because my old uh, house setup was I had the PS4 in the living room on my uh, TV stand. And then I had in my room, connected to my screen projector, I had my laptop, my GameCube, and my Switch. I basically just flip-flopped that around. And now I have the PS4 in the room, connected to the screen projector. I have out front in the TV stand, I have the laptop connected to the TV. I have the GameCube connected to the TV, and I have the Switch connected to the TV. So they're all connected there. And then I have on the right side, I have the... My uh, record player, because, you know, your boy's an old soul. And then oh. on, the, on the left, on the lawn chair, <laughs> is my piano, <laughs> which I'm eventually going to get a table for. And I'm going to get, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I want a table with, like, a wide opening on the bottom, so I can like, put another table there. And uh, with, like, you know, little wheels and shit, I like to roll around. I hate picking shit up. And then just roll it and have my, like, mic and stuff in there. And hmm. I, don't know. Okay. I, have, I have an ambitious really ambitious setup in mind which is by the time i carry it out i'm going to be like 25 and i'm not even going to be living here anymore 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, being honest. Place. Yeah. <laughs> but right now, since I don't have the table there, I have my uh, microphone actually hooked up. Uh, like the stand is on the living room table. And then I'm just sitting mm-hmm. down on my couch and I'm comfortable as fuck right now. I'm in my boxers. My dick is hanging out. Like, it's amazing. I'm so ba- happy for you, man. Yeah, dude. This uh, is my yeah, dream. well, sound, yeah, you sound like you've been doing some, like, uh, interior cleaning up and kind of organizing and uh, throwing some things around. So, yeah, it's good. I mean, you're you're still sort of moving in. You know, you haven't been there for a year, have you? Yeah, it's been a year. It's been over a year. Oh, my God. Taking all this time, doing all this stuff. You're not done yet? <laughs> no, dude. dude <laughs> my, life, my life ain't shit, dude. <laughs> I... I, I <laughs> I think of something, like, honestly, all the shit that I want to do, I've been thinking about for months, but in my head, I'm just like, bro, fuck that. I just want to go home, you know, be my me, bro. and go to sleep, you feel me? But, oh, yeah, yeah, I this had a, I had a little dream. spurt of energy. I had a little spurt of energy. I bought lamps and shit. I don't know. I don't know. I just wow. bought a lamp. Yeah, I bought a lamp. I just put it up right what? now, like, 10 minutes ago. Who, who, who am I? Who you? I know, right? Who am I? I bought another lamp that's coming in. I bought a Goku lamp that's coming in. Uh, dude, I I did cable management to the shit that I moved. I have everything is zip ties and sh- I don't even know where I found zip ties, but I just had zip ties liner. I guess I'm an adult, low key inside. I'm a grown man. Uh, you said old soul. Yeah, shit. Um, <clears throat> well, let's see. New with me. Well, uh, we bought a new TV. Uh, the one TV that I was using uh, was an LG, and that thing is over ten years old. Um, way, way more than 10. Yeah, well, did it have that fat back? Yes, but uh, no, it was not, it was a flat screen. Ooh, first generation flat screen. Yeah, it wasn't a first generation either. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's not as, um, yeah, the the TV that we got now is much thinner than that one, yes, but it, it's still kind of thin, you know, especially for like a 2010 or, you know, whenever we ended up getting it. But anyway, we got a Samsung. Uh, hopefully it doesn't blow up. Um, it's a 55-inch uh, class. It's a LED, it's 2160p. It's a smart TV, and that's exactly what we wanted to get because um, Savannah was telling me that uh, my game station could not be in the living room anymore. And I mean, you mean why, my why Xbox? She that? Yeah, why she said that? Uh, she's the type of person that will call a Nintendo, no matter what it is. <laughs> so she calls it. A, I give her such a hard time. I'm like, that is not Nintendo. She's like, all right, your Game Station, and I'm like, oh, how dare you? <laughs> oh, dude, I, dude, I, I trained my mom to say PlayStation, dude. I trained her. Like she now knows it. Like, dude, I sat her down and I showed her pictures. I'm like, look, Nintendo, PlayStation, <laughs> Xbox. So now she knows. Now she's just she like memorizes the buttons or whatever the fuck. But sure. no, that, that's not what I was. At. I was asking why did she want you to move it there? Like, what was her problem with having the Xbox there? <clears throat> well, I don't think she really had a problem with it. It's just that it's just another piece. We don't really, ideally, we don't want to have a lot of clutter, especially in the like the common areas, like the living room and the kitchen, the dining room, and all that stuff. You know. We we both like to have clean flat surfaces, dude. Do you, you want know? some zip ties? I got zip ties. I might hit you up on some zip ties because I'm not even talking about my office right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your office is a mess. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> talk about Yo, a rat nest. Pistachios was all over that shit, bro. And not the not yeah, the food, the fucking cat. <laughs> Yo, she was fucking that shit up. <laughs> uh, but. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a smart TV, so that's beautiful. Um, you know, we don't have to get, like, a Roku or anything like that. You know, hook it in. Um, you know, it's all built in. Um, yeah, it's it's beautiful, man. It's going from a 37 to a 55? Come on. Yeah, dude. Like, nice. it's so nice. So nice. That's kind of what happened <laughs> with me. I bought a smart TV, too. I bought a Roku TV because it was on sale. It was, like, during uh, mm-hmm. Black Friday-ish, like, kind of before oh, yeah. Black Friday, couple, like, last year. And uh, sure. it was really cheap. I'm like, fuck it. It brought the sound bar. I'm like, all right, bet. Because I had like a, I had like a 30 some, or I had like a 20 some, and I had my PlayStation there, and I was basically like 10, like 10 inches away from the screen at all times when I was playing the PlayStation because I just could not mm-hmm. see shit. And, and then I right. switched it. I have like a 40 some inch now. 
that mm-hmm. transition was amazing. And now mm-hmm. I'm actually going through the same thing because I switched, you know, so I got the new setup. I switched my PlayStation to my screen projector. And I up yep. screen projector, like I, I made the screen yep. bigger. So now this shit's like, yo, this shit diagonally, I think the screen is like a good 13 feet, bro. Uh, How long? Like 13 feet diagonally. I'm 13 sure. feet? Dude, what this, the yes, hell? Bro. Yes, bro. My, I, I got a big ass wall in my in my room that I kept empty on purpose. I didn't put anything on the wall because I knew I was gonna use that wall. I actually bought the screen projector before I even moved into the house, just because I knew I had to do it. <laughs> All right, and uh, yeah, so I'm going through that transition again, and it's kind. Of, I just think it was funny. Like I had the screen projector the whole time, and I just didn't use it as much because I was an idiot. But now, fuck right. that. Dude, I even put, yesterday actually, yesterday I spent like an hour and a half putting LED lights under my under my uh, bed. So now I have LED lights under my bed. This week, hopefully, I'm going to put some LED lights under my TV stand. My shit's going to be, and being the <laughs> fuck. My whole house okay. is going to be fucking purple. <laughs> <laughs> cool level purple yeah i mean uh that we both are very interested in ambient lights too especially me like so i can't wait until we start getting to that point dude it's yeah. gonna be great you, andy honestly your office andy has a really good office space y'all he's just not i feel like he's not using it properly what he needs to do first is to make it look prettier and to help him declutterize is you have to get rid of that uh basic white table that you have you know like the the picnic table that you have on the right you have to get an actual longer table that's, you know, like actual furniture. And I feel like that'll help you declutter a bunch of stuff on there. Um, no, I just have a lot of stuff. I need to find homes for it. Dude, I can help you once, you know, if we ever get out of coins. It's, it might be two years. But <laughs> just set your calendar up for two years, Andy, and I'm going to help you fucking declutter shit. All right. I'm on my cable management stage where I'll fucking zip tie a whole bunch of shit, dude. Yeah, all right. So you get you get, you have your cable management, then you're going to be an electrician. Uh, you're probably going to be a plumber. Um, and you're going to be a couple other things. Yeah, by the time that you get to come back over here. So you'll be able to really fix up my place. Yeah, dude. I'll be, I'm going to be handy man <laughs> by the time we get back. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, we got it on a, a good price. It was uh, 350 bucks. So I cannot complain about that, man. Oh, dude. That's, especially you. Know, you. I know we, you we, use part of, we use part of our um, uh, Trump hush money. Yeah. Uh, to pay that off, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I use mine um, to buy my lamps. <laughs> the lamps that I'm ha- Very nice. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's move on to our main topic of the night. Um, it's more of a serious question, but we'll try to roll off some jokes. Um, are we... Are you ready for this, David? Are you ready for this question? Go ahead. I know we did this like three days ago. But go ahead and ask the question, Andy. All right. Are we as a nation ready to open back up for business as usual? Take it away, David. All right. So uh, I think we are, but we're not at the same time. I see it as more of a reverse psychology type thing. Because, look, we did this quarantine and uh, – like, I don't know, you know, you said your part, but I feel like whenever I go outside, like, there's a, like, I have to go to work, whatever, I see a whole bunch of people out, bro. Like, a lot of people. And, sh- like, unnecessary stuff, because they're at home, and they're like, oh, I gotta go outside for anything. Anything that, you know, is, quote, unquote, necessary. So, they're, like, outside walking, going on a walk, or biking, or just coming to the store for stupid stuff. Oh, I was just in the area, and I was trying to see if you had thermometer covers. Like, but they're not asking for the actual thermometer. Like, all right, come on now. Or they're, like, coming into the store and they're asking for, like, fucking perfume. You know, stupid shit. And I so feel like... So non-essential things is what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, like things that you people. don't... <clears throat> a thermometer is one thing, but perfume isn't as necessary as you might think. <laughs> you know, you probably don't need it. Get yeah. deodorant. You don't need perfume. 
Yeah, or they come in and get a fucking uh, birthday card or whatever. Like, you're not seeing that person. You're fucking, you guys can't be in a gathering. But I'm saying there's a uh, stay-at-home mm-hmm. order. And there's people, like, mm-hmm. going outside because, you know, they feel anxious or whatever, staying inside. They look for any reason. I feel like if we reopen up, it'll, it'll like, reverse psychology of them to be like, oh, the government says we should we can go outside, but I'm not going outside because that's what they want me to do. You feel me? So I feel like it's, it's like a reverse psychology thing. And I keep saying that word, but it's because I just learned about that word like last week. So I'm trying to okay. meet up my you're work get, requirement. You're getting the use out of it. Yeah, man. Yeah, vocab requirement. Uh, yeah. Um, 20 a day. So so it's kind of like k- kids or uh, teenagers in a way. Like oh, yeah. if, if you tell – like if you're a teenager and your parents are telling you, no, you can't go out, you're going to want to go out. Right? You just want to rebel. And most of most of this country is all about rebelling. <laughs> that, that's how we were built, bro. Re- rebels. That's right, rebel scum. Yeah, it's like, dude. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like it's like going on a spaceship, and then there's like a whole bunch of buttons. So you're like, oh my god, you're like you gazing at all the buttons. They're all glowing and lighting up and shit. And then there's one big ass button behind a glass, and you're like. One big ass red button. You're like, yo, I want to touch. Do that not button. push. Do not push the button. And you don't, you fuck, you don't give a fuck about any button except that big red one. And guess what? They always press that big red button. Mm-hmm. But bet, bet if you had to please push this button, people are gonna be like, I don't know if I should push the button. You know, it's like that. Right. I don't remember what commercial it was, but it was something about that. It was like this guy. Has this box with a button in it, right? A big old red button. It's under like a glass covering, right? And he was sitting down, you know, face to face with this this other guy at the table. He was like, "Okay, uh, John or whatever his name is. Here is you know, this is a commercial, right? I don't remember what it was for, but he's like, "All right, John, here's the deal." And he opens up the box. Um, if you push this button, someone will die. But you will get one million dollars, and he, he in, just as without missing a beat, he pushes the button. He's <laughs> like, "Okay, push." <laughs> but he's like, um, "But but but wait, you you know it could be anybody." And he's like, "Okay," and he pushes the button again and keeps on pushing it. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Just push a button. You know, nobody cares about you know, consequences. You know, these days. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, like, I feel like that's why the government should open shit up, just because of that that type of of psychology. Dude. It's gonna. I feel like more people are gonna stay inside if they open it up. I, of course, there's gonna be people like taking advantage of it. Like, if they open up the parks, like I used to go before the quarantine. I used to go to the park every weekend. That was my little happy place, you know. Go outside, oh, yeah. you know, not look like a fucking homeless antisocial person. Mm-hmm. I, I go out looking decent or whatever, and I just go to the park. I feel like they open it up. I'll go to the park, you know? There's going to be people like that anyways. But I feel like we'll, it'll slow down the people that are on the fence about it. Hmm. Well, I think we just need to be smart about it, you know? I feel like a lot of uh, governors and, and mayors and uh, more of the local um, – uh, leadership is is more smarter and you know especially business owners um you know business a lot of the business owners are you know in my opinion a little bit smarter than the uh, the head honchos you know up in washington um you know making these choices but it, i mean think about it you know they're they're trying to make decisions that's going to affect 350 some million people you know it's hard enough to run a company that's going to affect 100 people you know, and plus there's all that political stress and whatnot, but, um, (sighs) I don't know. It's, it's tough, man. Um, there, there's no, there's really no right or wrong answer because we never really as a society has, have been in this type of situation given the technology that we have now and, you know, given the history that we have. You know, a hundred years ago, we had the Spanish flu, but we didn't have the technology we have now. And I'm afraid that or it very well. Businesses. 
you know, or the or the type of businesses, you know, just or the just just technology in general. Yeah, you know, not just computers, but you know, like cars and uh, communication and you know, you know, whatever it is, you know, um, you know. I'm, so I'm just kind <clears> of <throat> afraid that we're gonna creating a second wave, you know, as as they have been calling it. You know, just like what happened with the Spanish flu. Um, uh, I don't remember all the facts. Obviously, I wasn't there. But <laughs> I don't know, man. You're um, old. You know, even though even though you call me old, man, I'm not 102. <laughs> um, they uh, they they had this parade after the war was over, and everybody was like, "Fuck yeah, yeah." We we made it back. Here's all our heroes. So everybody was all crowded up on the, you know, it's a parade. You know, everybody's all crowded up and whatnot. And then days later, people are coming in to the hospital all sick and dying, you know, because they got the, you know, there's a big old, you know, wave of sickness again, you know, because it, it just wasn't over. That's why I don't go to people. I don't go where people are smiling. Fuck that. If they're smiling, if you, there's like a group of people smiling, I fucking avoid it, hundred percent. What are they smiling that's for? You be, you know? that, that's you being antisocial. No, it's, it's just what are they, what, <laughs> what, what, why are they smiling? There's no reason to smile. It's like it's it's fucking Monday in the middle of fucking February. Why is why are you smiling? Hey, it's why, a Friday is, somewhere, man. Yeah, and why is it? Yeah, why is there five of you smiling at the same time? What good news have five of you heard with the fucking disparity of ages of like ten years each? Like what? What did what did T Tommy the fucking five year old have to smile about? Come on, I avoided. <laughs> I avoided, dude. Fuck that, mm. man. I think I I think uh, where this is coming from is probably going to be another conversation for another day. <laughs> there's, there's something there's something buried in there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, man, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, are we ready to open back up, uh, you know, as a nation, we need to do it in stages, right? We have to be smart about it. You know, what we're doing right now, if, if people are, um, feeling the symptoms, they need to stay home, right? That's what they've been doing. You know, it's like apparently a 14 day period of time is going to be long enough for our bodies to battle the sickness if we don't have to go to the hospital. So apparently that's that's going to that's that's it. Um but then for the people that aren't showing any symptoms, you one either don't have it or two you have it, you just don't show any symptoms. So for everybody else, they definitely need to be wearing some type of masks. Um some uh you know, for, you know, just don't sneeze on people, don't cough at people, don't talk at people, you know, you know, maintain, you know, you know, enough distance, you know, because uh, this virus is going to travel in, um, in water droplets, you know, it's a, it's a freaking virus, you're not going to see it. Dude, it's like, you know, and it's you're like not going to know It's like it. a really good game of Plague. You ever played Plague? You know game? what, David? It is like a Plague. <laughs> No, uh, the, come on the know, game. You never no. played the game Plague on your phone? Uh, no, actually, I've never played that before. Dude, I've seen it a couple of times. Dude, amazing game. Amazing game. You create, yeah, a, you create a virus. <clears throat> you create a virus. I'm, and... I'm playing the game every day. Okay. Because I'm yeah. going outside, going to work. <laughs> yeah, me too. And I sell drugs in this mm -hmm. environment, sir. Uh, but mm -hmm. So, dude, I've, I've been playing the game since I was little. And you, you create a virus and you name it. I always named it like something like bad bitches, you know, because the headlines is hilarious. <laughs> They're spreading everywhere. Bad bitches <laughs> has canceled the Olympics, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And then you just do the hardest fucking country. Every, every time I played, the hardest country was fucking Greenland. Greenland was, or Iceland? One of those. Greenland or Iceland? I forgot which one. I'm sorry if you guys are like, it was both oh. Greenland or whatever. But well, ice, Iceland is the one that's uh, mostly green, and Greenland is the one that's mostly ice. Okay, Greenland. So it was Greenland. And, um, dude, it was the hardest one because they shut down that motherfucking port so damn quick, Andy. And if you start there, like, yo, if you start there, you're fucked. You have to start, like, in Cambodia or some shit. And the game was amazing. And it had a resurgence. I saw it a couple weeks ago. 
they were talking about it and they were they were saying this is not how exactly a real virus starts and I'm like yeah obviously like you get you get fucking points and then you upgrade the virus like come on dude but <laughs> I just thought it was funny like I've been playing the game since I was little and look at me now I'm playing the game now <laughs> in real life there you go all that time and training. I uh, know, right? And th the thing is, I never train to combat it. I always train to fucking make it worse. <laughs> okay, well, just do the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you, but, should, you should look at the game. The game is the game is great. I actually, I love the actual game. I was playing it for years. It was amazing. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll have to take a look. Um. So yeah. Um. Are we ready to open up the 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 nation? You know, business as usual. Um, I hear about a lot of a lot of issues where some companies are like, "Well, why are they essential and we're not?" And uh, you remember, um, people are are saying like, "Well, this is close to Nazism." <laughs> you know, well, that's yeah. what they did. You know, it's always. It's always, you know, oh, you're acting like a Nazi, or you're always, you know, doing this. So, or you know, you're always is... stealing my chicken nuggets, and I'm like, no, they weren't yours. Yeah, I was looking at them. Oh, uh, you're stealing my chicken nuggets. Oh my god, <laughs> chicken so, nuggets. Why? What is it with you saying these fucking chicken nuggets shit? Man, what's interesting is that you're Gen Z, and you are not getting these references. Yeah, bro, because <laughs> it's fucking whack. The fuck? You're missing out, my friends. Dude, why don't you reference like an 80s movie or some shit? Dude, I an referenced... An 80s movie? Yeah, I referenced Meatballs the other day. It came out like in 77, I believe. And you didn't even get the fucking reference. Who? Meatballs. You never seen the movie Meatballs? All right, I'm going to call John whenever no, he... No. That's going to be the first movie he talks about, all right? <laughs> first movie John talks about, if he wants to get on this segment, first movie he has to talk about is Meatballs, all right? I'm, I'm, you've never seen Meatballs, Andy? You, you I like, don't know, man. You know, Bill you know Murray how many movies are out there? Dude, you never seen... Bro, it's by Bill Murray. Come on. Amazing movie. Amazing movie. Uh, I'm a visual person. Hold on. Yeah, well, it doesn't meatballs. actually have Meatballs. Well, that's misleading. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this before. You have? Yeah. Amazing movie. I love yeah, it. I mean, it was a long time ago. It was, it was back when I, when I still had cable. But yeah. yeah. Dude, so I fucking referenced it the other day, and you just didn't get it. Because I haven't seen it in years. Well, you got to stop acting like a little hoe, all right, and start remembering. That makes no sense. Look, Andy, it's not supposed to be good enough, all right? No, it's never going to be good enough. But yeah, so like uh, um, Meatballs. Everybody go watch that. Go watch Meatballs. Uh, random. We weren't even talking about movies. but 1979, we apparently. 79. Oh, okay. I thought it was Yeah. 79. Yeah, so I reference. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I get references. It's just not from 20. What, what year is this? 2020? Can we just uh -huh. skip this here? Can we just say it's 2021? The, this 2020 is going bad enough already. Let's just, and April and March was like fucking. It was like a year in its own. Mm -hmm. March it certainly forever. was, man. March took forever, dude. Yeah, it was all in slow motion. It was very weird. Yeah, it was pretty bad, dude. Like, I wake up every day. I'm like, oh my god, is it the 30th? And it's like, nah, bro, it's the fucking six. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, shit. All right. Um, I forgot what we were talking I, about before this. <laughs> so we're talking <laughs> fucking meatballs. You're you're a meatball, man. Uh so <clears throat> the so so the final verdict, man. The uh are do you think the nation is ready to open back up as business as usual? You were saying that you think it's going to be uh Kind of, yeah. Uh, like kind of. More, more in stages, like you're saying. But I feel like eventually mm -hmm. we have to do it. Because, I, dude, some of these people are going to fucking... Our suicide rate's going to go up. They're, they're going to be stuck in the house with their, with their bitch wife who, you know... Or they're going to be stuck in the house with their bitch husband. 
Well, I mean, you got to think about that, too. You know? on every fucking hour of the day. You, you got to think about that, too. You know, you got a lot of a lot of people that were probably in some bad relationships and they were trying to get out and they were about to get out. And then this happened. Yeah, dude. You know, either they were finalizing a divorce and they were still living with each other. And now this or, you know, they live in a. Uh, abusive household or kids are traumatized by their parents, you know, because uh, their dad is a, a abusive or, you know, whatever it is. So, I mean, it could be pretty bad, you know, right now. You know, it's not all, you know, unicorns and rainbows, I guess. Unicorns and rainbows. Exactly. That should be the title of our next episode. Um, I don't know, dude. I like I like weird shit. You know me. Uh, it's gonna that's be not like weird for you. Nah, dude. It's gonna be like Papa Smurf and spaghetti sauce or some shit. All right. So I. It sounds to me like we are both on the same page when it comes to this question. Um, are, are, wait, hold on. Are you saying we're on the same page, Andy? I think we're finally on the same page. Oh my god, seven episodes. In, I thought it was going to take longer. This is amazing. Well, you're finally listening to my advice and my suggestions. <laughs> uh, no, I came up yeah. with this uh, before you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, we, yeah, we should definitely do this in stages. Uh, we need to be smart about it. Um, I think it's crazy that we're there. People are trying to open up bowling alleys now. Dude, that's essential, bro. Or, uh,. Or movie theaters. I mean, how, I how, understand. How else are you going to swoon these ladies? Um. Well, I'm married. I don't need to do that anymore. That no, you you do. What? I dude. I feel like even if you're in a relationship, you should still swoon your girl every once in a while. I swoon my girl. Yes. Well, not me to you, her. I'm saying you to her. What? And me to my girl. <laughs> You swoon your own girl, even if you're in a relationship. But like, even if you're in the, you know, you're a couple, you should still be able, you should still impress your girl. Like, if you were still trying to go after her. Just because you you already got her doesn't mean you have to, you know, all right, let me cut down on trying to impress you and trying to, you know, do all this cute shit for you. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I do with my girl? And this is going to be some, oof, this is going to be some. It's not, it's not even like trying to impress her or anything. It's just like a, like, it's, she didn't even notice. I had to fucking... She uh, she didn't even notice. <laughs> but I, I had to I had to explain to her. So when we're texting, I uh, me and her have talked about having kids. And, you know, we talk about, you know, we want to have a little girl first. Which, not anytime soon. Fuck that. But <laughs> uh -huh. when we're texting and whenever I say something, if I'm talking about us, like just us, or I'm talking to her or whatever, I always put two hearts. One for me and her. And then if I'm like, uh, if I'm talking about like in general, if I okay, if I'm talking about if I'm, <laughs> whew, let me let me think about it. If I'm talking to her, I put mm -hmm. two hearts. If I'm talking about us in general, I put three. One for me, her, and our future baby daughter. And like when I told her, she thought I was cute, and it wasn't really like trying to impress her. But it was more like a she knows that I'm thinking about us in the future, and it wasn't an act. It wasn't anything that I was like, oh, let me. Uh, let me tell her I'm doing this just so to, you know, make her happy, blah, blah, blah. I was doing it for weeks before that. She was just, she's just, you know, something came up and she asked about it or whatever. And, uh, mm -hmm. like, she thought it was cute. And it just shows her that I'm thinking about her. And there's stuff like that. Like, you know, coming home from work, you know, get a fucking, you know, pick a flower or something. Give it to her. Be like, look, it's, it's black, just like my soul. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Look, I got you this plant. Enjoy. <laughs> yes, please eat it. <laughs> it's stuff like that. I feel like you should still be able to do that. Well, not like it's not like you can't do it, but you know, you should still try to impress your girl. Sure. Sure. I, I, yeah. I, I well, I'm your opinion agree. on this. Absolutely. <laughs> Yes, although um, just don't get COVID when you uh, are going to a bowling alley, you know, oh, or man. to a movie theater. You know, obviously everybody's six lanes apart. All, I mean, it's it's hard to take you know um, you know leadership advice you know you know from from people that are 
condescending each other and, uh, you know, contradicting each other. And, uh, you know, especially when the numbers aren't adding up. So then their data that they're trying to provide to us is not really making sense. So it's hard for anybody to figure out what the hell is actually going on and what should be right. So it's, it's just tough. Everybody just needs to be smart about it. You just don't touch your face. Wash your hands. You know, don't don't make out with random people. You know, whoa, just be. Whoa, whoa. are you what? are you shaming the stranger kiss kink? Come on, dude, you can't kink shame. I'm not shaming. I'm just suggesting. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, you better. You're gonna get the Tumblr people on you, Andy. <laughs> it's my recommendation to you know to battling this uh this covid situation yeah if you're kissing somebody who has 17 baby mamas probably not a good idea to be <laughs> kissing that man during this pandemic because yeah probably not chances mm. are he's also fucking those 17 baby mamas <laughs> Mm-hmm. And you're gonna more. be you're gonna be baby mama eighteen, and you're gonna get your own TLC show. Which you know, if that's you, go ahead. Mom number eighteen. Oh, dude, I could already imagine it. Well, I'm sure there's some out there. Yeah, dude. Oh. All them kids. Oh lord, one man. <sighs> Wasn't this a movie where some guy like uh, I don't. I'm talking. We're talking about movies a lot today. I don't know why. Probably because of John. But uh, mm-hmm. I feel like thanks, John. Yeah, thanks, so. I feel like there was a movie that this guy just, like, handed out a sperm in a sperm bank or whatever, and they, like, gave it to a whole bunch of people. And then all the kids were like, yeah, yeah bro, I'm part black because of you or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Um, what, what was that movie called? Uh, the, the moms took my sperm bank. Come, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't feel like that was movie theater friendly name. Oh wait. Uh well here's here's one. <laughs> yeah, this is um uh oh, what what's this guy's name? Dude, you better be in incognito mode. I don't know what you looked up. <laughs> Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Vince Vaughn? Oh yeah, yeah. It's that, it's that yeah. one guy so from this is, th- Yeah, exactly. This is called Delivery Man. It's a it's a twenty thirteen nice. movie. Nice. Yeah, dude. I, that, so that's what that's what the dude you're fucking is looking like. So this this guy, yeah, looking like Vince Vaughn. Sorry, Vince. Uh, so he's an underachiever, and he founds out he fathered 533 children through anonymous do, uh, donations to a fertility clinic 20 years ago. Dude, thank God that floors cannot get pregnant. I'd be up there in those numbers. Oh, what a what a st- sticky situation! Yeah, dude, no, nah, dude, in different countries too. It's ugh. and on that note, <laughs> we're gonna take a break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coming up, we're gonna go into our entertainment section. Um, there's some kids stealing cars, and then there's places to put your car, and then David might have something to rant about. We'll be right back after this. And we are back. So, uh, David, uh, so you got all these kids that don't know what to do because they're stuck home. Uh, They're supposed to be doing online learning, uh, you know, still doing school stuff. However, this one 15-year-old did not do that. Let me tell you something. Um, this is actually a couple, about a week or so ago on the April 16th, down in Marion County. It's close, close by to us. A 15 year old girl was arrested last night or, you know, so on the 15th of April, um, after deputies say she led them on a vehicle chase through Marion County in a stolen car. 15 years old, David. I didn't have my, uh, learner's print permit until I was 16. Yeah, I didn't get it till sixteen. Uh, either. I was lazy as fuck. Right? Uh, no, actually, you say seventeen. Yeah, I got it at seventeen. Oh, seventeen, I dude. I was lazy. Your boy was <laughs> shit. I was walking everywhere. <laughs> my, my mom had an Audi. She wasn't gonna let me drive that shit. Oh yeah, fair. 
Uh, well, let's see. Uh, deputies say on Monday, uh, the 15 year old stole car with the keys left inside. Mistake number one don't leave, leave your keys, keys inside, inside your car. Can't do it. Exactly. This ain't a movie. Speaking of movies, it's not a movie with the keys up in the glove box or the, uh, the, the visor. Um, so she took the, the vehicle on a joyride before abandoning it. And, uh, that's rule Let's number see, two. Last night, Don't abandon the yeah. car. Unless, Let's see. Unless last, well, it says last night she returned to go on another ride. Um, so I don't know if she abandoned it back in the same spot that she took it from. Or if um, she just, you know, stashed it somewhere. Like in a I field wish it, or something. Yeah, like I wish it would say if... It was her mom's car or not? Because most car, most teens yeah. take their mom or their dad's car right. or whatever. I should, I did right. it too. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the only, the only fucking reason they called me, Andy, was they they saw every other car. It was like it was in January. Every other car had condensation on their windshield, and that car did not. And that's how they caught me, cause I, I took pictures of the of the shit that was on the sea. I moved everything back on the sea. I moved the sea back to how it was, like the direct way that it was. And the only reason they caught me was because of that. Yep. And then my mom came to the school. Andy, I thought she was gonna boo. That lady almost killed me. They had to put <laughs> they had to put a, a deputy in between us so this lady doesn't murder me in the middle of this goddamn school, Andy. Mm. And the thing is, she warned me about it. She texted me like an hour before she got there, and she's like, "I found out what you did last night." And I try to play it off, like I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're mm. talking about. Did you? Did you? I'm sorry, I stayed up late or whatever. <laughs> and she's like, "No, you took the car." And as soon as she said that, I was like, "Ah, oh, shit!" I didn't even text her back. I was just like, I was like looking at my friends. I was like, "All right, guys, it's my last day <laughs> <laughs> on this planet. Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna be here I tomorrow." Bet, I bet you're I bet your face was so pale, like your heart just stopped beating. It's like, uh It's like how my face is now. Yeah, it's like how my face is now, where my heart is super cold and I look like super depressed on the world. That's that's how my face was back then. And I feel like it was just a permanent change that day. Gotcha. But yeah, so it doesn't say if it was her mom's car or not, but I feel like it was. But then again, it, I feel like it would have said it if it was. So I'm iffy on that. But it's like... Don't steal the same car twice. Well, well, just don't steal a car. Period. You know. No, I mean, Andy, come no, on. I mean, like, you know, everybody's gonna steal a car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure you you do it right. Come on. Well, let's see. So, um, so when she went back for another ride, um, this time deputies pursued her. Now the girl hit a mailbox and a fence before crashing. Deputies say she tried to run, but officers used a taser to bring her into custody. How she fast was is this little girl running? Was she like track? <laughs> Yo, uh, who knows? 15 year old girls? I remember they were fast. Hey, bro. Yo, imagine if they didn't have the taser, bro. That would have been a funny ass footage to see. Like, boom, uh, gone. Oh, shoes flying off her feet. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's dipping. They got Nike yep. on her. <laughs> Nike starts sponsoring her, <laughs> her run. <laughs> <laughs> um, they sponsor her bail. Now, in all seriousness, though, uh, she is facing charges for of grand theft, fleeing, and driving without a license. Of course, I had to tag that on there. Yeah, and that's the harshest one, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, man, I tell you, at fifteen years old. I mean, come on, don't do that. Uh, I mean, don't even do that quarter. when you're twenty five. Don't do that when you're thirty five. Well, at twenty five, you can rent a car, so. You can rent a car at 25, yes. Just don't steal. Don't steal. It is Florida, dude. So honestly, I'm not even surprised this shit happens. Imagine all the stories in Florida that haven't been like written down. Do you know spot. why there's a something called a Florida man? That little thing going around. Do we you do know a why? Bunch of crazy shit. There's a whole bunch no, of crazy shit. No, no, no. Everybody does some crazy shit. What it is is that uh, something about the the rules and laws about uh, news, um, like everything is more broadcast in the state or something like that. So everybody really knows about everything that's happening 
in this state. I heard something about that. Like there's there's some other states that like a lot of the the news just really doesn't like broadcast as much. I, I know it sounds weird. I but mean, it, it has something to do with that. And then that's why everybody around the country is always hearing about, oh, Florida did this. Oh, Florida did that. I don't know. But it has it, something to do with that. I feel like some of the stories I can see happening in other states, but there's like there's specific ones where I'm like, there is no way anybody in the world would ever do something similar to this. Mm-hmm. Like they, they, they put like fucking uh, mustard up some – person's fucking brain and fucking disconnected your eyeballs and put it on a fucking lamp like what do you see that happening anywhere else see that happening at your place probably I mean, that's how i got my new lamps i'm so proud of you <laughs> so on to our second story uh in entertainment so speaking of driving cars David, did you know? Well, you know now, but uh, <clears throat> did you know that there is a, um, a th- there's only one theater in America showing newly released movies right now, and it's right here in North Central Florida. Yeah, thirty minutes away. It from is. Us. That's right. It is called Ocala Drive-In. That's right. You heard me correctly. It is a drive-in movie theater. Uh, it's one of the few theaters that are still open right now, and this man. Uh, the operator right now, he's saying, um, born and raised in the theater industry. My family goes back 107 years. Never thought we'd see the day where I was the only one operating in the entire state. So that was the owner of Ocala Drive-In, John Watts Z. Um... Dude, that I, I, you know, you know me, man. I said it earlier. I'm an old soul. I've never been to a driving theater, probably because I, I didn't say that again. I didn't hear you. Oh lord. <laughs> uh, like I said earlier in the podcast, I'm an old soul. So driving theaters, bro. Like I would, I'm 100 percent interested in that. And I've never been, even though it's 30 minutes away. It's just because I'm lazy as fuck. You know, 30 minutes, <laughs> 30 minutes. But mm-hmm. uh. I, that's definitely something I want to see more of. I want to see more driving in theaters. I've, and I feel like this is a good little push-up. You know, people are going to be like, you know, they, they said there might be a seasonality to this whole uh, canola virus thing. And so um, I feel like this will boost up the industry a little bit. You know, they're trying to make money anywhere they can. So I feel like there's going to be a lot sure. of more driving theaters coming up soon. Sure. Yeah, it should be. It should be interesting to see what happens, um, you know, because when it's the time of uh, despair and uh, hardship, you know, usually there's a lot of things that come out of it that's good. You know, um, you know, people kind of, you know, find find, uh, you know, ways to cope and uh, ways to, um, you know, cope, basically, <laughs> you know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, Two examples, coping. one and the same. <laughs> That's right. It's it's because it's just you know rinse and repeat nowadays. Um, yeah, you get all these businesses or that are moving to online ordering. You know, uh, when it was just you know, ordering this, you know, just come into the store, pick it up. Now everybody's got an online, you know, uh, you know, presence where people can, um you know, order online and just have it delivered to them or they can go, which is really popular right now in our area. It's curbside pickup or you just, you order something out of store and you go over there to get it. You call them. Hey, I'm here to pick up this order. They Hi, bring honey, I'm home. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you, you, you just call them when you're in your car or something like that. And then, uh, uh, you're like, Hey, I'm here to pick up this order. So they be bringing out to the, the outside on a table that they got set up and then you walk up and you get the order and go, you know, and that's, that's becoming common. And, um, yeah, it's just a change and it's only been a month, you know, so who knows however long this situation is going to be. All the changes um, are going to happen. Yeah. All the changes is going to happen. There's going to be a lot of places. I really think what's going to happen 
Um, I'd be surprised if it doesn't. A lot of these companies, uh, like real t- re- uh, retailers, um, they're not really going to have, maybe they might not have a big um, presence in store. Maybe they, you're just going to go to online, you know, especially with like uh, um, food joints. I mean, a lot of the food joints are still open. Uh, they're doing takeout only or uh, delivery, right? Yeah. Now, unfortunately, they had to get rid of a lot of workers. They had to get rid of a lot of waiters and waitresses because nobody's coming in to sit. But people are still ordering the food at the same price on the menu. So there's more of a profit, per se, to the company uh, because there isn't that portion that's being paid out to um, employees and, and, and whatnot. So... There might be essentially like companies, uh, uh, food joints that are going to turn into like maybe food trucks or something like that. You know, how food trucks are where they just have a kitchen and you just come up to the window, you order your food or you just call in and you get your food ready and then there you go. Or it's just delivered to you, you know. So who knows? Yeah, it's going to. Who knows? I mean. It's gonna be interesting how this all goes, and and the the longer it goes, the the more time companies have time to implement stuff, and uh, it's like with this movie theater thing, like the longer this shit goes, Andy, the fucking more driving movie theaters are gonna have, and it's gonna be interesting, and we're just gonna seems like we're going backwards but going forwards at the same time, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's, dude. Honestly, I'm excited as fuck for driving the movie theaters. Honestly, and I just gotta make sure yeah. I got one thing in check before I go. Gotta get my windows tinted. <sighs> you don't have your windows tinted? I thought you did. No, dude, it's a disappointment. I don't know. I'm fucking up. Well, maybe you should stop making upgrades in your own place and, uh, you know, make great uh, upgrades on your car. We'll see. It's coming up. Okay. So, uh, you got anything for a rant? You got a rant up your sleeve right now? Uh, I think I think rant day is going to be gonna be short today okay it's only gonna be a what you got man rants. what's what's grinding your gears oh lord and you're hyping up this rant section today uh <laughs> rant really is just uh you motherfuckers that come to the, my motherfucking store all right gotta chill the fuck out all right we just there was just one guy today that just pissed me off just one guy all right everybody else was annoying but whatever just one guy pissed me off today he was one of my first customers Came in, dropped the script. He's like, it was an antibiotic. He's like, I need this right now. I'm like, well, I turn, I just got in like 10 minutes ago. So I looked at our pharmacist and I was like, hey, what's our wait time looking like? She said, two hours. I looked at him. I said, our wait time's about two hours, sir. He's like, that's not going to work. I need this right now. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. well, that's our wait time. So I don't, I said, I don't know what you want me to say about this. I mean, we could try to get it early, but I can't guarantee anything. And he's like, this is always a problem with your with your pharmacy. And I was like, well, all right, you can transfer it if you like. You can take it to another Walgreens. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of just changing all my scripts everywhere to another one. And I said, yeah. well, all right then. And he's like, so are you going to fill it? I was like, I looked at him with such, a, with such a fucking face of like, are you fucking serious, my guy? Like, you just said you wanted to transfer it. So why the fuck are you wanting me? Do you want me to fill it or not, sir? Are you going to wait the two yeah. hours or not? Because it's not going to go any fucking sooner for you. And yeah, I, I, if I anything, it's going to, you know, it's going to delay it. And <laughs> the more he complains about it. Yeah, the, dude. And then I'm like, I'm like, uh, I mean, do you want me to fill it? It's going to be two hours. He's like, I need it done sooner. I was like, I, I already told you. I can't guarantee it'll be done sooner. And then he just gets a fucking attitude. And then he's like, I want to speak to the pharmacist. I'm like, all right. And I give it to her. And then she's like, yeah, that's our wait time. I mean. Um, you. I mean, you're gonna have to wait the two hours, and we'll send you a text when it's ready. And uh, he was like, "All right," and he and he leaves mad. And then we look at the script, bro. And you know how he said in the beginning that he needs it immediately. He needs it right now. Mm-hmm. He said his yeah. doctor needs him to start that um as soon as possible, dude. He got the fucking script yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> So if you need it so fucking, if you need it immediately to start it immediately, why the fuck did you wait a day to get it? Maybe that's 
why that's why he was so upset because he waited a whole day to go and get it done. Dude, well, you know, I he was like he was like 70 something and I just feel like he should be the next one to go. For being a fucking idiot. That's my rant. That's my rant today. Don't fucking don't uh, fucking say you're in a hurry for some shit that you could have dropped off earlier and don't be mad at the fucking wait time. And you know what? You yeah. know what, Andy? Tomorrow when I go into work, if I see somebody complain and say it's always a problem which you guys, I'm going to transfer to another store. Guess what I'm going to do, Andy? I'm going to pull out the paper that we have with all of our store's phone numbers, and I'm going to say, which pharmacy did you want it at? So I can call them right now and transfer all your stuff over. And we're going to see how fucking real they are about that fucking statement. Because I know they just try to say it most of the time just to fucking say it. Just to, just so we can say, no, don't go. Stay here. Fuck that. Mm. Go. Let me, tell me which <laughs> store. I'm going to send you. I'm going to show you my customer service. Here's a list of all the stores. <laughs> pick your fucking pick. There you go. Ask Siri. Yeah. God. And that's my rant Anyway. <clears throat> well, man, you feel better about that? Uh. <laughs> it, was a, it was a little bit better than last time, I think. <laughs> yeah. The first time we recorded this episode, the rant was like 20 minutes. Oh, my God. Yes, it was. Um. Well, that appears to be our episode for today. Um, remember, we are on lots of different platforms, including Anchor, Spotify, and YouTube. We got our website. We also, we also have our own website. Go yeah. right ahead, David. Uh, fuck, what was the website name? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, www. Dot the not good enough podcast not weebly.com <laughs> good lord <laughs> fuck you gotta put me on the spot there usually you say that part well you piped in man i'm sorry i was giving you the floor <laughs> fuck don't do that again <laughs> <laughs> all right i'll continue to talk over you then <laughs> so that is correct. We also have our own website. It is not good enough podcast.weebly.com because we are not good enough podcast. What do you uh, think, David? Uh, Weebly. What, what do I think about what? Are we good enough? D was that good enough? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. No, that was not good enough. Damn. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll have to check back on May 529th. Yeah. So see if that's going to be better. Yeah. Anyway, that's our show. Hopefully, we'll have another one for next week. But until then, goodbye. Deuces.